Your Lie in April is an anime about piano. Now, I know there's more to it than that, but our job is to check out the actual scenes depicting playing this instrument and see how well they did. Huh. I don't consume really much anime, which is why it's always interesting to check out this stuff. The drama of it, it's unusual to me. And I'm sure there's so much context to why this is like a big deal, but like <laughs> without context, it's kind of hilarious. Oh, we get a really good view there. Let's see. Yeah. That's all spot on. <laughs> oh man, the playing is absolutely gorgeous. And it always blows my mind, the effort that has to go into making this stuff actually look correct. They don't need to do that. It doesn't have to be correct. I mean, nobody really is gonna notice or care if it's like an approximation because only somebody like me, and I'm sure many of you guys are gonna look at this stuff and be like, hmm, are those the right notes? It doesn't matter. But it's that extra attention to detail that's just so impressive. I'd be curious if string players have looked at what she's doing and decided whether or not that's accurate because I obviously can't tell. What was that shot? I feel like I've never seen a shot like this in an anime. What was different about that? That was cool. Let's look at the technique here. If I go frame by frame, you kind of see how they do a lot of this. Wow, that's actually really fascinating. The frames are overlapped onto each other and <laughs> cause like that doesn't look like a finger. <laughs> wow, like look at the lighting on this like one finger specifically. This is interesting because by sort of overlapping the frames, each individual finger doesn't necessarily need to have the exact movement cause it all kind of gets like muddled together. Ooh. Look at that, whoa! First finger, the thumb is playing right here. Now watch, when this note releases, it hits the top, and then look, it, there's a little rebound. That's what pianos do. Oh, really? Probably hard to see right here, but if I let go of this, it, it bounces, right? It doesn't just go right back up to the top, it bounces a little bit. There it is. That one key just hit the top of its stroke coming up after it was let go, and then boing, it just bounces ever so slightly. They didn't have to do that! And again, same thing, yep, little bounce right there as this key comes up. It looks so good. That is so cool. But I'm always just blown away by the attention to detail and how meticulous they are with these animations. <laughs> The weight of the dialogue is it's just like, I mean, it's poetry, that's for sure. More impressive frame by frames on the black keys. There we get a little rebound. Ooh, wait a minute, what? What's going on here? The left hand is clearly making the notes under the right hand move. That's actually interesting. I wonder if that was like intentional because if you waited until the hand goes in front, you can't see it. Does it make it feel more like we can see what's going on if you just make them move ever so slightly before the hand gets there? Obviously that's not what would happen, but like maybe it helps the animation. Let me look at it in real time. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of really like serves the overall immersion. Just that little motion on the black keys as though they're bouncing like they would be, but happening before the hand gets there. It just makes it feel more real. I wonder who played on this show. Like who made the recordings for this? Cause it's incredible play. Interesting. It's accurate. No way. 
<laughs> Even the internals of the piano are perfect. Look at that. That's the part that's blowing my mind. It's just like, it's so much work. Look at the interior of that piano. It is per, it's a Steinway D, literally perfect. Makes me wonder like what the process is for taking an image of the inside of a Steinway D and converting it into this sort of more drawn look. How much of that is computer aided versus like illustrated? It looks incredible. That is amazing. And the dampers. I mean, even the dampers have the rebound that you would expect them to have. It all looks so natural. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome. Those shots are so cool. Oh, that is so neat. I'm sure the drama makes so much more sense with the context of the show, but it is, it's, it's super cool. I can sit here and I can go through and pick out every little shot. It's just as simple as that. They just made the decision. They said, I'm going to make this entire thing. And every time you see keys, it's going to be exactly what's being played. That's so hard to do. I mean, the meticulousness of showing, because not only the fact that like you're seeing the right notes, but there's so many notes going on at once. I mean, there's up to like, well, theoretically up to 10 different notes playing at one time. And it's like having to think about all that and then consider it in your animation process. It's just, it's crazy. Chopin, man. Whew. But I did some Chopin, and I think the thing I always liked about it was you just get these melodies and harmonies that are so good at like itching that part of our brain that we like want to hear certain lines. And we get this like over emotional outpouring of just like, mm. I don't know, that's kind of like the only thing that you can think of when you're when you're playing something like this or listening to something like this. You just hear these moments and you're just like, oh, whoa. And it just elicits that sort of visceral response. That guy is a pianist, an incredible one. Maybe he could help us out. <laughs> Play us something! <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the playing in Your Lion April is just absolutely outrageously beautiful. And the fact that the animations match, I mean, the difference in my positioning of like here to here is so small that the effort required to animate that accurately, it's just, it's incredible. Man, sometimes I listen to these Chopin pieces and it, it feels, even to me, you guys, like it feels just like, oh man, how would I ever figure that out? It's a daunting task to take on something that difficult, but it's one of the best ways to build technique. But if you're just starting out and you're not worried about that stuff yet, check out our totally free instant piano guide. It's a mini course that I built that shows you how to play some really simple, really beautiful things without knowing any piano, any music theory, any reading music, anything like that, you don't need any of it. It comes with some really cool stuff like backing tracks so you can play the riffs that I teach you and you can basically be playing in this giant cinematic orchestra. It's super cool and it's totally for free. There's a link in the description below, check that out. Yeah, I'm super impressed. I'm, I'm curious to know your thoughts on maybe the context that the story adds to these animations. I'm sure that there's so much to it. And also any other anime that you think I should check out that has really impressive music in it, I'm always looking to check out new things. Let me know in the comments down below. Check out the free instant piano guide. Thank Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.